following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Bieber, proceed with caution. What is up, people? Today I'm bringing you a gameplay on Warhawk. This is Domination. And um, I got myself um, a nice amount of kills, 57 kills, using the support package. Usually I don't get that many kills while using the support package because you, you don't have kill streaks on the support package that uh, allow you to get kills. And uh, I actually had a, a commentary, uh, I did a, a live commentary on this gameplay. I usually uh, commentate all games I play. And uh, the ones I uh, do well, I uh, select them to, uh, you know, to post on YouTube. But uh, for some reason, this one got fucked up. Some, uh, uh, there are like uh, one second or two of uh, some parts of this uh, gameplay missing. And uh, sometimes it skips, uh, it goes, uh, it fast forwards for like one or two seconds and it's very weird so uh, the the commentary didn't match the video for that reason the the hopog uh, the hopog hdpvr fucked up so i i couldn't look at that little bit you know when i was i was running and i thought that shit was part of the vehicle or something i don't know what that was but i didn't expect it, i didn't expect that shit to be a fucker all right who fucking leans behind the pickup truck I mean, that, that's fucked up. At first I thought that was Wings of Redemption behind the pickup truck. He was fixing his truck. But no, it was some fucking nerd camping. And I didn't start off this match very well. Um, usually that's how it happens. I uh, I don't start off matches very well. I uh, end up getting raped. And look at this shit. How, I, look, how didn't I see this guy? I knew there was somebody over here. There was someone over here. But I didn't know where his ass was. So I was trying to find his ass. And uh, I mean, it's hard to see people, uh, but uh, I saw him and look, get my little six kill streak here. It's always like that. Whenever I get a, I don't know if this happens to you, but uh, it happens to me all the time. Whenever I'm using support, I go on, you know, nice kill streaks that uh, would uh, give me like a, maybe a chopper. Look, that skipped right there. I don't know what happened, but the uh, I don't know the HDPR, the HDPVR fucked up. But uh, every time I'm using support, I end up doing well. I end up, you know, sometimes I get like 10 kills without dying. And when I use when I use assault and I have to get kills without dying, I can't. I don't know if it's because I'm using support, I'm chilling. I don't have that pressure, you know, uh, about... Uh, I don't have that um, that pressure of uh, not having to die, this and that. Uh, of, uh, of trying to... Uh oh my god, look at that bullshit. Look at that bullshit. So when I use support, I don't feel that pressure. When I use assault, I'm always, uh, I'm always uh, like uh, about to have a heart attack because I can't die. I gotta get the kill streaks, this and that. Otherwise, I won't do shit. And I was using uh, this was a nice gameplay. 57 kills using support. Uh, uh, my uh, squad mate does a little bit of work. The juggernaut squad mate also gets one or two kills which is amazing because look that shit got fucked up right there because usually the the juggernaut uh, squad mate doesn't do anything uh, i just use it because it's funny i like to uh, follow him and uh look at this bullshit watch i was behind the shield how the fuck did i get killed that makes no sense uh but yeah i used to, i like to look i call uh, this fucker in right now I just like to go, to let him go ahead and then I'll follow him. People will try to kill him and I'll stay uh, behind him uh, shooting motherfuckers. Which you will see right here, I get two kills or maybe one doing that. Look, this guy was a... Uh, oh, look at that shit. Oh, and um, I uh, was also using uh, on this gameplay the... Uh, what's the kill streak? The second... What's the... Oracle. I was using Oracle, you know why? Because I don't give a fuck. Everyone uses their shit, right? So I'm gonna use it too. Usually I would be using the Juggernaut suit, but you know what? I'm gonna use uh, Oracle so that um, I can fuck some bitches up with that shit. It's not that overpowered. It only shows it only shows your location for like one second, and it does that like three or four times. It's not that overpowered, but it's annoying. So that's what I'm. That's why I'm using it. And uh, I was using the MTAR here, the SMG, and uh, look at that shit. The, the gameplay is all fucked up sometimes. Look. And then I die at like three. Or, look, the squad mate juggernaut got a kill. Is, that, is this a fake video? The fucker got a kill. And I, I have a gameplay where he gets four fucking kills without dying. Which is absolutely amazing because usually he doesn't even get one kill. The poor guy gets immediately swarmed. Sometimes I try to stay behind him to protect his ass. 
um, he's like an enemy magnet. But sometimes I get killed and I spawn very far away, and when I get there, he's dead. And uh, it's a very uh, sad moment because uh, you don't like your friends. Uh, you don't like when your friends die here in the Call of Duty. These guys are my friends, the squad mate, the jug squad mate, and I uh, I feel very sad when they die for real. Now uh, I was using Stalker for the first time. Now I feel I feel forced to use Stalker because everyone uses that shit, and it makes hit detection weird. And uh, I'm gonna tell you what, uh, as you can see here, I can't fucking aim with, when I use Stalker, and especially with an SMG. But, but look, that was very, Stalker was very useful right there to come out of cover super fast. The guy problem, probably was shooting me, but the, 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 it, it wasn't, it wasn't able to hit me because uh, I had Stalker on and you move super fast, you know, from left, you strafe super fast. And that's why probably I died lots of times, because uh, I, uh, as I said, this was my first time using Stalker for real. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to it, because um, when you're aiming, especially at long range, uh, it, it will uh, fuck up your aim and uh, it will be hard look. Actually, that was uh, that was uh, that was a good shot right there. But uh, usually, uh, I just die when I try to kill someone at long range. I can't hit him because of stalker. But at close, medium range, it's great. I love it. And that's probably why I died like I died what 22 times. But that doesn't matter. I was uh, running around, just having fun with support. That's what you gotta do. If you use support, if you use fucking support, you don't have to camp. But still, I see motherfuckers camping, you know, I see motherfuckers using spamming oracles and shit, and they're camping the whole time. Why are you camping? You have support, it doesn't matter how many times you die, you will always get your kill streaks. So just have fun, running around like a beast, like I was doing here. Obviously, these guys suck, because, uh, I mean, usually I don't get 57 kills just using support. But, uh, and, oh, and I was using... What's the word? Uh, what's the name of that uh, perk? The one that allows you to reload on the run. On the run, I was using that shit. And let me tell you something. That perk is annoying as fuck because you can't cancel the reload. You, usually, to cancel cancel the reload, I just uh, press forward to a start running or something like that, and it will immediately cancel. But uh, on the go, allows you to um, reload while sprinting and walking, whatever. And it won't let you fucking stop reloading. And for that reason, a lot of times I got killed here. And this was actually actually a good kill. I should have gone the other way around. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have on... Look at that. Look at that works. The squad mate, squad mate gets one. The jug squad mate gets the other, the other one. Like a beast. Uh, but uh, if you use on the go or on the run... I don't know. I don't really remember the name of the perk. Look, I'm going to die here. Let me see. On the go, yeah. If you use on the go, don't don't start running because uh, you you look at this. I couldn't I couldn't hit this fucker because of stalker. I suck. I suck, people. I will admit it. Oh, look at that guy having a seizure. His dead body. And obviously, I got shot uh, on the back uh, uh, lots of times. And uh, the, you know, they just it's gonna happen if you run around like this. It's gonna happen. And the gameplay is all fucked up, as you can see, uh, some parts are slow, some parts are, uh, are, uh, move super fast, and, uh, it just, it's, it's, uh, it's fucked up, because I actually had a funny commentary, and, um, because of that reason, oh, look at you, oh, and then I get stunned, I mean, what could I, what could I have done right there? Nothing, fucking nothing, I got flashed, couldn't move, this guy here gets killed, but uh, I, as I said, I had lots of fun playing. Whenever I just wanted to chill, running around. Look, the squad mate gets another kill. So uh, these guys were re really terrible because uh, usually the squad mate, you know, he might get one or two kills. But most of the... Oh, look, another kill. Another kill. Usually he doesn't do this well. He gets like one kill, maybe two, then he dies. Uh, but... <laughs> But when when I uh, when I play against noobs like these guys, it's it's hilarious. Look, what the fuck happened there? Can you explain to me what happened there? How the fuck didn't I kill that guy? And this guy here gets shot through the tank. The tank is supposed to be bulletproof, but for some reason I was able to shoot through the tank. Now um, this that happens a lot in Black Ops 2, but for some reason it also happens a little bit in in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. 
most of, most of the time, no. Sometimes I'm, you know, I'm already around the corner and I still get shot. It's a little bit of annoying. It's a little bit annoying. It's not as much as in Black Ops 2, but it exists in Call of Duty Ghost. So right there, that vehicle didn't explode. And that's one of the reasons why I enjoy Call of Duty Ghosts. Vehicles don't explode super easily. They don't explode like you don't fart and they explode like in, like in Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 2, it takes only a fart to explode the vehicle and it's, uh, it's very annoying. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I like this game. The, the vehicles are not annoying. They, they're not exploding here and there. Random ass explosions. And uh, look at this. Look, I couldn't hit this guy. Luckily, I got his ass. This one here kills my ass. I don't know how, but the squad mate gets the payback because that's what he does. He's a fucking nightmare. And this is about to end here. I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't get a kill right there. And uh, you know what? This was an enjoyable gameplay. Obviously, the nerds will complain because I died 22 times. I already said st I was. I'm still getting used to Stalker. I was using on the go. I gotta. I gotta remove that shit because.